Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright from Econ Course Companion. And today we're going to take a look at revenue and just the key terms, which is part of this Theory of the Firm key term series that I'm putting together. It's going to be a short video. It's only going to cover the terms that you need to know in the revenue section of the cost, revenue, and profit section of Theory of the Firm. All right, let's take a look. All right, here you go. There are only four one of which is the general term and then three subterms. okay? So the first term is just revenue in general. What is it? Revenue is the money a firm receives from selling its products, goods, and services over a certain period of time. Revenue is simply the money, right, that comes in for the purchase of a good. So when you go up to, this, to a store and you buy something and you hand them that money, that money right there is the revenue. What the firm then needs to hope for is that whatever you're buying, the cost of making it or the, the cost that they had to incur in order to acquire that product are less than the revenue and then they'll make a profit. Okay, so revenue is just the, the money firms receive. And of course, total revenue is the total amount of money that firms receive from selling a certain amount of a good or service in a given period of time. And that is calculated by simply multiplying price times quantity. That's super easy. You've been doing this all throughout economics. Right. If if, um, you know, I sell pizzas and I sell one pizza and I get 10 bucks, what's my revenue? Ten dollars. Right. It doesn't mean I'm profitable. It just means that I have ten dollars now. If I sell two, what's my revenue? Well, twenty dollars. Right. If I say ten, it's it's one hundred dollars. OK, so that's total revenue. Now, average revenue or AR is the revenue a firm's receive firm receives per unit of output. AR is equal to the price of the product always, okay? And of course, you can calculate average revenue by dividing total revenue by quantity because revenue is always figured out per unit of quantity, per unit of quantity, per unit of quantity. And so average revenue is always going to equal the cost, no matter the market structure that we work with. And of course, we're going to look at perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly. But average revenue is always the price that the, the, the firm gets in the marketplace, okay? Remember that. That's super important. And therefore, if you think about it, if price is always average revenue um, and a demand curve is a representation of the different price quantity combinations that a company could get for selling its product, then you know that the average revenue curve is going to be the same thing or analogous as to the demand curve, okay? But we'll get to that in a second. If you're looking for the curves, by the way, they're in the following video. So just hold on or listen to the rest of this and then click on the video um, that covers the curves and what they look like. All right, last term, marginal revenue. Remember, margin is always whatever you receive if you sell one more, um, if, you, if you produce or sell one more unit of output, okay? So marginal revenue is the revenue a firm gains when it sells one more unit of, product, of a product in a given period of time. NMR is always equal to a, the change in total revenue divided by the total quantity. That makes, for me anyway, that makes it sound a little bit more complicated, more complicated than it really needs to be. You know, marginal revenue is just how much you make on the next pizza you sell, right? So if the price is $10 and I sell one more pizza, guess what my marginal revenue is on $10, okay? So... Marginal revenue is a pretty simple concept, uh, but it can kind of get a little confusing in your head because maybe you're not comfortable with this marginal word, you know, and that's, you know, maybe by this time in your studies, you're getting pretty used to it because total, average, and marginal are three terms that come back both in cost, both in revenue, um, and in production, okay? So there are the key terms that you need to have an understanding of to make sense of the revenue portion of theory of the firm. Um, and these curves are, are important. And so in the next video, we're going to take a look at what the curves look like based on the market structures that a firm might be operating in. All right, my friends, be good to one another. Take care of yourselves. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And we'll talk to you in a bit.